hello everyone welcome to my channel cat tutorials for beginners and in this tutorial we will create this model here so by the use of generative shape design so let us start with the generative shape design in cutty v5 generative shape design and just click ok so here first we will create the bottom plate so the base of the model so just we'll simply create it with the use of revolve command just provide the dimensions let's say it will be 160 this will be 40 and then provide a round for this corner and let us add 25 and then exit this workbench so now revolve this with the revolution axis considering Z and make it to 360 degree and then click OK so now the bottom plate is created so now we will create this curvature over here so let us create a sketch on this front plane and let's project this edge and make it to construction make this as a continuous line and provide a dimension let's say 330 and then exit it similarly create another sketch on the same plane and make this base projected, projected and make it to construction line Similarly, select the line command and make a line, make it to regular and provide a dimension. So, dimension must be maybe 160. I'll just add here 180 and then exit this workbench. So now by the use of sweep command we will make a sweep surface. So go to the sweep surface and select this as a profile, select this vertical line as a guide and surface will be this plane. In this plane we are going to make a sweep. So go to the law, make the law into linear type and add this value. To 360 degree and make a preview so you can see the sweep is created so now again sketch on the front plane so make this projected over here make it to construction similarly make this line projected and it is already projected now already in construction mode just make it off select the spline command select this point and make some control points over here just exit this provide the dimensions from this let's say 50 mm similarly provide a dimension for the bottom it's also 50 mm so provide a dimension for this one provide the dimension for this one so let's say 65 or maybe 80 
and this one also 80 at this dimension as 80 or no actually not 80 just make it to 140 or 130 130 will be good select this point and provide the dimension for this one as well and make it to 130 and then exit this workbench make a revolve from this select a z axis and just click ok so now both these surfaces are intersecting each other so make use of the intersection command and select the sweep and the revolute command and then click ok so you get the intersection curve just will hide this both the surfaces you will find this as a curve so just hide that this as well similarly we will hide this one make it hide so now you can add a sw sweep here so select the sweep command and go to this option here center and radius select this curve and add a radius let's say 10 mm make it a preview so now you can add more than this one so we'll try 20 and then click ok so now this first surface is created and similarly we'll just uh, we will uh, trim this here so select the trim command select this surface select this surface and you will see here the below portion is reduced removed and now select this surface here and you can simply trim this or so we'll delete this first and we'll make a circular pattern of it select this surface and that will be along the crown and the reference element will be the z axis and you simply add multiple numbers make a preview and then click ok so now this hotel is created now you can trim this entities over here just select the trim command so select the trim command here select this circular pattern select this plate and make it other side and then click ok so now you can see the openings is created similarly just select the trim command select this sweep and then this one and again make it to another go to the other side and then click ok so you can see the surface gets hollow inside so we'll just hide this just hide this edges as well so in this way you can create this type of models in with the use of surface modeling so if you want to render it you can just go to the render option and you can select the lighting conditions here and maybe you can select different types of backgrounds so let's say we'll select this one or maybe 
this one create ok and then we will directly uh, render this so it will take some time actually so we will pause this so we will just uh, it will taking it is taking some more time here so now you can see here uh, it is uh, rendered you can uh, use this you can try different types of sceneries here and you can just save this with the help of save button here and just uh, save with the same name this will add a dot here so in this way you can create this type of models and make a rendering in Katia. So thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you very much.